I was talking to my colleague the other day about his experience of teaching in an inner city primary school. He said to me, you don't know how hard it is for them. Your parents probably helped you through school and into university. I smiled as he said this. It's true, I thought. I had a lot of help to get where I am today. I love my time at school. The day I walked through the door of my high school, a few of my subject teachers said to me, you're really talented, you could do really well. It was great to hear. I felt amazing and wanted to work harder to get better and better grades. School was probably so amazing because home was not. To be completely truthful, I had no idea about what was going on at home. No one spoke about it and it was just so normal. For me, anyway. My dad had always needed drugs to cope with life. His explanations as to why he took so many were perfectly reasonable. He needed them. He had an illness and they were the only things that could make him better. As my high school years wore on, my dad lost his job. My mum was working all hours to pay for everything and even so, we had to do without. Forget being into fashion or music as a teenager. It just wasn't affordable. My mum kept going to the doctors for help, to get my dad off the medications and back to some sort of life. They always fobbed her off with some excuse about patient confidentiality or told her it was not a big problem. Except it was. Because at home, we were living in a war zone. The no man's land between violent and unpredictable outbursts of rage and zombified stupor. Personally, I preferred zombified stupor. But I knew it wasn't right and it wasn't fair. I just couldn't do anything about it. Except get angry. So, how did I get from there to here? Well, with a lot of help. My mum pushed me to do well, for my own sake. My teachers believed in me and pushed me even harder. I was really helped by a local mentoring scheme. They helped me recognise my emotions and channel them into something positive. My colleague, although he did not know it, was right. We all, regardless of our background, need help to reach our full potential in life. I hadn't really planned on becoming a mum as young as I did. It was a shock when I found out, and an even bigger shock when my boyfriend said he didn't want anything to do with me or the baby. My parents were less than pleased. I was on my own. It took me a while to get my head around it all. When I got to the doctor, she told me off for taking so long to tell them I was pregnant. She told me I put my baby at risk, because I'd not had any of the vitamins and stuff you're supposed to. It was a fair point but it still put me right off asking for any more help. Still, I, I went along to the appointments. Well, you have to, don't you? I tried those classes you go to before the baby's born, but they were full of happy couples and I stuck out being on my own. I decided not to go anymore. After the baby was born, things were great, except that money was really tight. I was in a temporary job before getting pregnant and they said I couldn't have maternity leave. The midwife gave me a leaflet about statutory maternity pay and benefits, but I wasn't really sure if I was eligible. I probably should have made more of an effort, but I just didn't have the time to sit down and read through all that stuff I was given and, and all the forms I had to fill in. Babies are expensive, and mine quickly ate into the money that I had. Soon I found myself short of two or three pounds at the end of the day. It built up over time, and... It wasn't long before I was struggling to meet all the costs and sinking deeper and deeper into debt. Yeah, no, everything's fine. The best thing that I did was talk to my family. As annoyed as they were, they, they didn't want to see me struggle. They helped in the short term. I also got onto net mums. Chatting with others in the same position was helpful and they told me about the charity that offers practical advice to single parents struggling to manage. It took some time, but I managed to sort myself out. The biggest change was in not feeling stressed anymore, not being so worried about how to manage everything that meant I had more time to play with my son. He's doing really well. 
he's healthy and happy. I would say to anyone in my position that there is help out there. You're probably entitled to more than you think and there are people that can help you find out.